This video is a short excerpt from a two-hour live online session I presented recently for a woodturning symposium. The session was called Introduction to Lasers for Woodturners, but it would be a good session for many types of makers wanting to learn about what you can do with lasers. Because Valentine's Day was coming up, I showed a short video that demonstrated one way of inlaying a heart-shaped piece of power shell into a piece of wood. We joined the session already in progress. Let's take a quick look at this. This was this inlay. As I mentioned, Scott Grove and Nancy, they do easy inlay, which they sell powdered stuff and they sell this stuff in sheets. So I said, well, we got a Valentine's Day coming up. Let's try something. Now, I've not done this before with their material. So they were nice enough to send me over some yesterday. And uh, in a few minutes, I was able to, to do this. So let's see if you like that. So let's do a quick play. So I grabbed a heart from the graphics library that I had downloaded from Louisiana Hobby Guy. On the left side, we've got what will be the engrave. So this is going to burn a channel in the wood. And the right side here is going to be the cut. So I'm going to cut the, this is power shell. So now let's go back to playing it. And you can see there were these two layers on the top. So there's an adhesive back on this that will be peeled away later. It's pretty thin stuff. But in order to keep the top from charring, I put a piece of blue tape over it and I'm gonna burn through the tape. So I'm gonna cut through the tape and I can peel the tape away. I'm setting it. And once again, always frame. Know where your laser is going to go. And then we can cut. So this is cutting out the inner heart first, because you wouldn't want it to drop out and then try to cut the, you wouldn't want to cut the outer one first. And then move it away. That was real time cutting, and it only took a few seconds to cut. And then I'm just going to take up the masking tape, which was, strangely enough, masking. So now we have a nice little cutout heart. And now it's time to cut a channel onto a piece of wood. So I was just doing a test on some Baltic birch here, doing the same thing because I was using air assist to make it nice and deep, um, but I didn't want to be blowing soot around on the edges. So this is going to be a fill. So it's just going to go left and right, left and right, left and right. And it doesn't take very long because it's only an inch high. So we'll do this. I'll just jump ahead just a little bit. Let's jump ahead to about here. So the surrounding surface stays nice and clean. Pick up the mask from the middle, peel off the backing. They call this easy inlay for a reason. And because the kerf is so small on this that I didn't have to do any kerf adjustments. There are kerf adjustments in, in Lightburn where you can specify how thick the kerf is and it'll make adjustments for you. But this is really tiny, so this fit in beautifully. And then I think I got a close-up of it. 
Yeah, something like that. So that was kind of a fun project. 